everybody, Kelly Sue from Cleopatra Art Studios, and I'm gonna paint one of our double-sided gnomes that we have on our website, um, inspired by last year's style um, for 4th of July. So I'm just gonna draw a couple lines and Sharpies so you guys can see a little bit better. Um, when you join in today, go ahead and tell me where you're coming from. Have you painted with us before? I feel like I want to do this one. I have a couple different devices here. Turn it down, turn it down. There you go. Um, have you painted our new style gnome? We came up with a double-sided gnome for our adult art box. I'd like to know where my feet are gonna go. And gnomes are so popular. I think you either really love gnomes or they're just not in your wheelhouse. So I wanna know where I wanna put my hair. And these are adorable. We've been offering these, well, since they were in our adult art box for, <laughs> was it eight? No, I think it was February. We went ahead and offered it. Um, I'm gonna make this one a little inspired by 4th of July. So I got myself a little cookie cutter here to do a very similar gnome from what we did last year. I like having one available for everyone to, to paint. So it's called a double-sided because there's four feet, two sets of feet, which allows the gnome to stand. And you have two sides to paint. So it's kind of like a two-fur project. Two-fur. Um, I'm going to paint the feet a little later. So if you are loving him and you want some more information, just, you know, type in more information. Uh, otherwise, they're on our website. And we do have, for the month of May, a promo to get you free shipping on our gnomes. Um, I think it saves you like $5.95. And the coupon code at checkout is mm, ship gnome, all one word, all capital letters. Try to keep it easy. So this is MDF and it does need a couple coats. I almost feel like I want to put a little bit of that brown in. That cinnamon brown. So I know it's really close to dinner hour for some of you guys, but you know how you try to get your work done and life happens. That was kind of me today. So I'm just kind of cleaning out my paintbrush. Just tried really hard to get my work done today. And I had some really good business calls um, that, you know, I wasn't expecting it to be today. So what happened is it just, it just worked out. And so my time went really fast today. Thanks for watching guys. If you want, tell me where you're from. Oh, you know what I was, oh, I missed one. Red, white, blue. Mm. Hold on, hold the phone. Red, if I go red, blue, white, is that bad? Uh, uh, yeah, it is, it's bad guys. Okay, so let's do this. Red, white, blue, or I could go red, white, red, blue. Hmm, you know, red, white, red, white, blue. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do it that way. So I'm going to do all my reds right now. And then I want to get working on my beard. Okay, there's a shedding. There's a shedding that's happening. Um, I want to get working on my beard because I want him to have little hands that hold the little star. So when you order these, we do pre-draw the basic shape for you so that you, you know, if you don't like it, erase it. And if you do like it, hey, we helped you do your project a little bit.
Lincoln Lake and Open Studio. We are there to help you. Oh, I screwed up. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys. <laughs> oh my gosh. It was red, white, red, white. And I did. Oh, that's so funny. It's so me. It's so Monday, which is really Tuesday. I'm looking for a towel here. So I could come up with a different design now. This wasn't what I wanted, but it's just wood and it's just paint. So I'm going to wipe off some and then I'll just paint over it. <laughs> you guys were watching. You saw me doing that. You knew I was going to do that, right? It'll all work out. It's just like wall paint. If you paint a wrong color, it's okay. What you can do is get in there and just change it up later. I'm not going to add the white right now because it's going to look like a shark attack, but we'll get there. We'll totally get there. <coughs> so I was thinking I could do suspenders like this guy has. He's, he's still pretty much red, white, and blue. I could totally have done, done that, but I think I'm going to keep them pretty simple and make a, a medium gray down here. Might actually go a little lighter. Just keep them really simple. He's going to be really de delightful when we're done. I'm going to call him Jethro, I think. Oh my gosh. I, I name all my gnomes. But you know what? If I ever saw Jethro, it would be this guy. <laughs> He's a Jethro. So like I said, you get two sides. Um, our double-sided gnomes come with paint, paintbrushes, sealer, um, for $39 and if you want we'll give you the coupon code to get free shipping for the month of May and then the code expires so kind of fun be great for Girl Scout troop great for on your table for the 4th of July outside by your porch where your welcome sign is um, you don't have to paint where the feet are going to go, but I find that it, it helps a little bit. I painted, I drew where his foot would be. There we go. And so it's MDF. It loves a second coat if you're willing to give it to him, depending on how much paint you use and, um, you know, the paintbrush that you use. Otherwise the, the brown does pop through. I do like to paint the bottom. So tell me what you're doing today. I'm obviously making mistakes left and right. I think I can come in with, I think I'm gonna come in with a really light gray cause gray just has a really good priming ability still picking up some red. So gray um, blocks color a little bit better than white does. There you go. Easy fix. We can get this done together. The sun's out, but you know what that means? There's construction. There's construction everywhere. And uh, that's okay, it needs to be done. It really, really does. But we now live on a, let's call it a state road because I don't know, <laughs> I don't know what to call it. Um, and so this is a year that this particular straight state road is getting fixed, which yay. But when I pull out in the morning to take Sabrina to school, there's a sign that reads, wait for pilot car. And I'm like, waiting forever. So you not only have to wait for the pilot car, you have to wait for the pilot car to go all the way through with their people, flip around and back through. And then you're like, I'm jumping in. It seems like if they really meant it, they'd, they'd give you like a concierge type service. <laughs> Ugh, crazy. I know right now it doesn't look like his beard's gonna be much lighter than his his uh, 
his uh, clothing, but it will be. And it's, I just, I wanted to keep it pretty simple. I wanted the red, white, and blue hat to really be the star of the show. But what I'm gonna do before I put in the texture to the hair is I'm gonna put little stars on his, um, are we calling it a shirt or a gown? It goes all the way to the floor. I don't know, we're gonna call it a shirt or we're gonna call it a gown. Whew. We just ate lunch, went into town. We had a birthday here yesterday uh, for John. Maybe you saw my post. And um, he just had his meniscus repair done on Friday. So, you know, he felt better today. So we actually went into town today versus yesterday when he was still doing a lot of sleeping. All I know is I feel like I'm a single mom with the dogs and they're up all the time. And normally, normally he would get up with them more often and I'm doing it, you know, single parent uh, for the dogs and my kids are great. And then doing the ice rotation throughout the night. So if, if you've seen me looking prettier, it's because I'm super tired. I still loving it, still loving creating. Hey, thanks for watching today, guys. Just painting a 4th of July gnome, one of our double-sided gnomes, and then you can do two seasons. This, they look amazing with, um, like everyone in the family painting one and them lining your table on your table runner. That's a really nice look. Um, we sell them at our website, CleopatraArts.com, but we also do them for um, paint events. We have one coming up, and so I did one on 4th of July gnome. Miss Jannie, she just painted one at our last event in Spangle, and I went, wait, I have one from our last design set, so I wanted to kind of borrow some of those elements and bring it in for this painting. I'm gonna go over my boo-boo again. And I'm okay if a little bit of that red is carrying through. And it's because I'm gonna put a lot of details on top. So all of those details are great. I'm distracting from any of the design flaws that we were not expecting. So I could give him another coat down there, but I'm like, Nana, you could do little dots, but because we're talking, hey, we we're looking for something a little bit more patriarch, patriarchal, patriarchal. I'm not saying it very well today. Um, it's because I'm tired. <laughs> um, I'm gonna paint stars. So, ooh, I should probably, stars are normally white. Are you guys gonna be mad if I do blue stars? Ooh, I should probably ask. I don't want you guys mad at me but I should paint this section white too. But what do you guys think? Should I keep with the traditional white stars? Cause I don't think you're gonna see them very much on his tummy and maybe that's okay, subtle, subtle's good. It's funny when I'm painting live and I'm talking to you guys, I, <laughs> I always forget to paint a section. Every time, always do. And you guys just watch for the train wreck that you know is coming. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna paint white stars and all the time I hear at paint parties, do you have a stencil for the stars? Because I'm not very good at the five, you know, five pointed star. And guess what? None of us are, but go ahead and just do the kid star up and down and then left side to side and then connect those legs and guess what? Um, you can fill them in. And so nobody would know. Actually kind of liking that. I was thinking blue might be the way to go. We don't need no stinking stencil for a star. We'll just do like kindergarten stars. And stars and hearts are are pretty hard for kids to, you know, pick up. 
but once they have them, bam, they've got them. And I was telling everybody this morning in one of my event recordings that I gave away or tossed away, um, I'd like to say I sold, but I did not, um, all of my 4th of July decor when we moved last year because we were paying by the pound and it was spendy, guys. So this is what I know about these um, gnomes. I try really hard not to stick something between his two feet, including a beard part that's coming down because then he definitely looks like a boy gnome, if you know what I mean. <laughs> I think you know what I mean. Um, and so that's why I like to do it that way. I also want to dip and dot some, star, uh, some just some dots, just to help break this up a little bit. Again, trying really hard not to put something right down there where people will look. I know it, it that's kind of silly, but I, I do have to pay attention to that. <coughs> because if I was doing this for kids, they would try to mimic what I'm doing and a lot of times, um, it definitely looks like a boy gnome is in the vicinity. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and do my, um, the color for my, the top of my cap, I'm guessing I'm gonna call it that. What about the puff ball? What color do you think that should be? This is gonna be blue, but I'm gonna mix a cerulean blue, and I'm gonna miss, oh, hey Annette, how you doing? Um, I'm gonna mix cerulean and phthalo blue together because, I think phthalo blue is just too stinking dark and cerulean's again too stinking light so <laughs> together i'm happy so i tried to do this this morning i got a curled my hair stuck a little makeup on and then um just had a lot of business happening people are working next door and so we don't have a fence around our front yard and so the basset hound, Miss Tallulah, we call her Lou. She wants to go visiting the people working next door and, and they have um, like front loaders, like bigger equipment and they can't see her. She just comes out of nowhere like, hey, aren't you happy to see me? And um, so now she's, we're leashing her now. So every time we go out, she's like, what do you mean I'm leashed? So that's something we're, we're having to spend a lot of time on. And then I had a couple business calls that were fantastic this morning. Got some exciting stuff happening. So yeah, we're just kind of pulling this, the theme all together. I don't know what to do about the puff ball. <coughs> Technically it should have been a star, but we tried to come up with a design that would cross over to all the holidays or any design you might want. <coughs> Sorry, I'm, just, I'm not contagious still guys. I'm thinking, <coughs> um, should we do red? This is um, an example of the two-sided gnome we're doing. He's almost, he's hes literally just a little a hair over a foot tall. So over 12 inches tall. I'm trying to think if I want, I'm gonna paint it red first and we can go from there. I can always change it. You know, people always ask me for, um, and I can never say the word right, patriarchal article, um, art. They want, they want something red, white, and blue, they say, um, or nationally inspired to support, um, you know, your love of your country, but Honestly, when I do offer them the classes, nobody signs up. I mean, I'm talking, I'm not talking, oh, it's low attendance. I'm talking nobody signs up. And so I find by offering some fun stuff like our double-sided gnome and or our door hangers with the fire, the firecracker um, truck, which I have here, or one that just simply says welcome, but it has stars and stripes, that it it um, speaks to more people. Because I think the problem with the um, 
the having the um, patriarchal, <laughs> that's not right. Um, I, what is it with the word today? Stay in school kids. Um, art is that the color palette is red, white, and blue. And how many of us have, maybe you do, how many of us have red, white, and blue decor in our homes? Maybe you do, maybe I'm wrong. Um, but so what you want is something that you can bring out and utilize and then put away when you're, when you're done with it. So our door hangers for the 4th of July are adorable. They can be up for a couple months. And then of course there's this guy, he's so cute. I'm gonna go ahead and give some areas a second coat of paint. I'm just gonna kind of touch it up. He's super cute. Um, I was so excited when we first sold our first gnome, our first wood gnome in 2020. Um, we had the same design until we gave up this guy in our adult art, art box. They, those ladies, they're our members. They got this guy first. We worked out most of the little snags that we had in design with them. And um, I put feet on the other side and went, duh, oh my gosh, duh, a big duh moment. Like, like, yay. But also what took me so long to think of the feet people? What took me so long? The fact that just most people are going to paint the back sides anyway. So why not have it so you can flip them around? Jethro on one side and uh, GI Joe gnome on the other. Super cute. I recommend painting the sides. You definitely want to put a sealer over top. Now, if you are going to have a lot of white, then you want a water-based sealer. So if you buy him from us, we include one. It's a brush on. Honestly, I love higher gloss, so I do go with a polyurethane and know that I wouldn't use that though if I had mostly white, just because there's that amber that happens when the yellowing that happens when your paint dries. Okay, so he's looking good. I'm actually going to work on the beard for a second and then work on his feet. And the reason why is I want his beard to dry so I can put his little hands holding, can you guys see that? Holding the heart. So it was really last year's design I'm kind of plumping him up a little bit and recycling him because he was awesome. This guy has, he also has stars and dots on his belly. Okay, so let's talk about, <coughs> guys, I'm doing so much better. Let's talk about um, creating texture that looks like a beard or hair. It is very simple, but unless you're going to dry brush, which dry brush, dry brushing can be intimidated to people, intimidating to people. Um, what you need to do is put wet paint on wet paint. And since my paint's dry already, I'm going to put another coat on really quickly in white. And then you'll see the gray underneath the white. And then I'm going to put some streaks of gray and black on top and they're going to blend. So basically it's impossible to have colors blend if your paints aren't both wet. So I'm not doing a dry brushing. And then I wanna talk about the whisk brush. Um, you will get brushes with this kit if you wanted to order him, but you're not going to get this whisk brush. But honestly, you don't need them, but he is, it's kind of fun to have a new product, a new tool, right? Just kind of getting in here. Thanks for joining today. I'm so excited to see you guys on here with me. Um, we put out our adult art box. Um, everyone has opened theirs, I think, so far, and we are going to probably unbox tomorrow. We unboxed the kids' art box last week, and so many of you loved our bee theme, our queen bee for moms and the projects we had for mom in that box. Thank you so much for your kind words. And so many people asked to get on the wait list. We are gonna open up soon for kids. Um, 
If you want on the wait list for adults, give me a message here. They'll open up in June and we have very awesome projects scheduled for you for June. And they do have a 4th of July theme. And why would you want an art box sent to you? Um, number one, savings, because of bundling, something that would normally cost $45, you get two projects or more for the same price. And who doesn't love happy mail? Who doesn't love when your mail comes to you in your house with everything you need? That's fun. Okay, my paint is, my wet, my white is wet. Okay, I'm gonna bring in some gray, or you could use your wisp brush. You see how it has little chinks taken out of it? It will naturally give you hair a hair look. You can get a three pack from Amazon for like three bucks, four bucks. I think they're a dollar each if you wanted to, or you can skip it. Okay, so I'm coming in with some gray on top of my wet white. Go as dark as you want. And they're blending. They're getting blendy. So it looks all like he's hairy, like he needs a little, little shave. Um, you guys decide how much you wanna do, but it's super easy. Oops, nasty. It's super easy because the white is wet the um the gray is wet so it's a, kind of a wet on it's a wet on wet technique you guys and if you put too much or it's too dark you'll simply go in with more white and just keep playing eventually you may have to blow dry excuse me my nose is not happy today Last night I went outside about three in the morning for the doggy break and I pointed my flashlight. Okay, we have coyotes. I pointed my flashlight up in the sky and it looked like it was raining. It was pollen. It's everywhere right now. So I think it's tricky under the nose a little bit. So I like to come right up to it and then go on top of that. So just keep playing with your lines until you're really, really happy with them. Doom. I have a glare from my, from my ring light. I'm gonna prop you up, buddy. So just, if you go to our website, um, www.cleopatraarts.com and hit shop our store and then just go to wood shapes. Obviously this is a wood shape. We're starting to populate that. We're getting some of our new door hangers on there. I just want to put some. Hello. Hello, Amore. Okay. Um, we're starting to get our seasonal wood shapes on there and what I call evergreen, which are like door hangers and stuff that you could put out all year. Like they say, welcome or hello, instead of happy Halloween, which we're already working on our Halloween shapes, guys. All right, so it's pretty much dry. You could wait to do the next step, but I don't. I just come in here with a really fine paintbrush and some water and some black. And I just do a basic outline. I'm not even really too worried about it. I think when you over outline stuff, then it starts looking a little interesting. I like to go around the outside of these shapes though. Thanks for checking in with us. And then I put another layer of hair. I just, I come up, up above. And if you need to thin down your water a little bit more. And I put another kind of a long V. I'll blend that one in. And if your paint's still wet, you can get all blendy with it and stuff. 
I like to do it when my paint is wet so my black's not super noticeable. But just kind of little curly cues if you want, just make them pop. I'm gonna take this second and outline his nose with my watered down black. And you could do the top of the hat if you wanted to. Okay, it's not the top of the hat, the bottom of the hat if you wanted to. It's the top of the head. All right. I do like to come around the sides, but I just use my finger for that. Other people prefer to use their paintbrush so they get a little bit more specific and in there just nice and tight. That works too. And then I wanted that to dry so then I could put his hands holding the, um, star here in a few minutes. And I'm going to just make it easy on myself and I have a cookie cutter. So if you ordered this from us, we'd trace the cookie cutter. But you can just do again a five pointed star and go from there. All right, so up here in his hat, I got a little touch up to do there. I'm going to start making some of those five pointed stars in the blue. I am not worried about making 50. You know, if this was our flag and we um, were going to be very respectful of the design of our flag, we would put 50 stars, but this is a piece of fabric on our gnome that we think most likely probably is bendy. So we can't see all of it. So we want some of the stars pushing off. So don't try to count them all. You'll make yourself crazy. Do you guys find it hard to draw um, the five pointed stars? I mean, most of us learn at a very young age how to do it. But maybe it's so difficult for you. Hello, Miss Louise. Um, just drawing or painting, excuse me, a one of our double sided gnomes with our last year's um, wood gnome, 4th of July. Thanks for the hearts and the thumbs up, guys. Appreciate the nice words of encouragement. If you have any questions, just shout them out. Happy to help you out. And they don't have to be perfect at all. They do not have to be perfect. I'm trying to decide what I want to do with his little powder puff. So since I'm working in white, I'm going to give the top of his nose a little frown just to make it pop a little bit. <laughs> okay. Melissa from the Harvester in Spangle. Thank you so much for your kind words. Got to have something else. I mean, Miss Janie painted one the other night ago and I was like, I really should have one of these. So, um, let's go ahead and my beard's almost dry. And as you can see, it only takes you know, a little while to paint this. It doesn't have to take forever. I think the details are really what pulls him together. And so we're going to, we're going to fuss up here in just a few minutes, but let's go ahead and paint our feet and then we'll glue them on. And then we know he'll stand. Now I gotta say, full disclosure, sometimes people glue on his feet when he's flat and they don't even check. So there's a little bit of time that you can play. So line them up with the very, very bottom and then just know that so glue can float a little bit, like the pieces that you put on, um, maybe before the glue adheres, the piece kind of takes off a little bit. So just kind of, you know, chill out, hold on for a few minutes and um, make sure, oh my gosh, that it's even. I have, I had to have a couple ladies, I love them to pieces, but they had to go home and they had to bring out the belt sander. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Oh, all this pollen. I don't think it bothered me last year because we moved in in March 5th. And so the trees already had done most of their work. I mean, they weren't blooming yet, but I think 
we didn't go through the pre-pollen, so when we got the pollen, it wasn't a big deal. But this year, it's killing us. You can you can do both sides if you wanted to. I'm a little lazy, I know that. Sorry, Mama, Mama, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh my gosh, okay, so if you guys are local to either Maple Valley or Spokane, we have several events that we're doing this guy at. You can also order him from our website. And we do, for the month of May, have a coupon code to get free shipping on our gnome. It is, all caps, sh was it free gnome? No, it was ship gnome. All one word, all caps. Um, and you can get free shipping on gnomes this month. Ta-da, okay. So we're gonna glue him in place here in just a few minutes. I love to see how these all come together. And what, I've been painting maybe like 35 minutes. I know, oh, Miss Melanie, Miss Melanie, what have you been doing, my friend? Girl, miss you. Okay, I'm gonna pull out my really small paintbrush. What do I do with it? And I'm gonna start fussing a little bit with some of the detail. So I'm gonna come in with some black and I'm going to, on some of him, his choices, I did uh, more of a rigid outline. I don't think I'm going to on this one. I gibbered myself up already. So are you guys eating dinner? I'm just doing this weird thread um, wiggle. That's what I'm going to do. Why? Because my original has that. So I'm gonna smear this little fold here just a little bit with red paint. And when it dries, it's gonna look like a wrinkle. Instead of a line, it'll be more smeary. And if it's not smeary enough, I'll fuss with it until I'm very happy. But again, the red has to be wet, the black has to be wet. And I'm picking up a little bit more, so I guess we're gonna have a little bit wrinkle. It's gonna be super wrinkly right there, just, just saying. So keep playing with that. So now I feel like I wanna wrinkle over here. Plan B. <laughs> hey guys, thanks for the stars and the, um, the hearts. Appreciate that, it's really nice of you to respond. So I just wiped it down a little bit. I'm just gonna go over top of it. And you can just keep playing with it till you're happy. Just know that it will blend into the background. It won't be such a big deal. And one or two makes it look a little awkward. So kind of add a few more. So I'm gonna do a line of red because remember we have to have two wet paints to blend. Yep, that one kind of sealed the deal. I like that one. And I'm gonna just keep going. In between, I'm gonna go ahead and use my wiggle, my little ribbon, back and forth. Those of you that sew probably have a, an official term for a ribbon that wanders or meanders, undulates. Kind of like a walk in thesaurus today. <laughs> Just kind of, oh, I gotta water down my paint. It's a little thick. All right. But um, I'm not a sewer. My mom tried to teach me once for a Girl Scout badge. And she started me on a shirt and she said, start here and sew here, and I did. I didn't leave a room for the head to pop out. Mom, why didn't you tell me, Mama? So I absolutely hated ripping out those stitches so much that I really never picked up sewing. It's just not an art form that personally I have ever picked up. do some black detail. I do want to go around a little bit. I, I tend to hug the side pretty good. A lot of my friends go on the board a little bit more than I do. Um, this one you can see a little bit more. The white's a great outliner. 
guess I'm kind of going to have to do white too. I'm sticking, oh, I'm staying away from the teal because, you know, I really want red, white, and blue. I have, I could use a lighter blue, I suppose. Evaluate your stars. Do they need another little um, coat of paint or not? My computer's going crazy now. So, Melanie, I don't know that you're still on, but, oh, my gosh, we have got to get caught up, girl. I'm going over one more. So, what I like to do is take my white, and I'm just going to just... I think I'm gonna water it down a little bit. So it would be slightly pink for my water, nothing big. And I'm just going to really lightly add some detail work around the sides, obviously not in the white. As the paint's watered down, it won't be so contrasty to the original background. Still trying to figure out what I want to do with this. You know what I should do with this? Is put some red glitter on there. Yes, sir, I'm gonna to totally do that. He's gonna be my glittery fella. All right, now I like to do some dots too. That's just something I like to fuss with. I'm gonna flip a paintbrush I like the size of upside down and just do some dots. One, two, three. I like to do odd because your brain gets great pleasure out of seeing groupings of odd numbers versus even. Okay, one, two, but I don't always follow that rule. Mostly I do, but not always. So you're gonna dip frequently. Don't try to do the whole gnome with just one dip. Hmm, now in my original, I did a row of dots by my undulating ribbon. I don't know that I want that. Do I want that? I kinda want that. Okay, I'm going in and it's basically in the red between the ribbon and the red. So I just do it, I did it at the bottom. I did it there too, so I'm gonna just come in here. I don't know if I love this one as much. It's okay guys, it's just paint. If you change your mind, Just paint over it and try again. Sweet. I'm gonna take a second. Man, I'm gonna wait on his feet. Okay, so let's talk about that. I have it right here. The star cut out. I know I wanna, we definitely wanna line it up underneath his nose. And so I actually redrew my nose about three or four times. Oh, Kathy, thanks. Oh, you're so sweet. Um, I redrew my nose three or four times because when I put the star in, the nose was over here and the star was over here. So I didn't have that um, that lineup that I wanted. How's the pencil? Pencil sounds good right now. So I'm going to put the star in and then I'll put my hands. So I'm just going to draw the star in pencil. I'm going on the inside of my cookie cutter. Don't have a cookie cutter. What you could do is just do it in paper and then cut it out. Okay, so I know that underneath here, I'm gonna have a hand and it's gonna be holding, holding the star. I'm gonna use that same blue that I used for my, his lid, his roof. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna put some more dots. I did groupings. One, two, three of three dots. I also went around my stars with black. Oh, that's gonna take a while. It's kind of 
I'll help design this area here a little bit. Okay, one, three, or one. And I'm also gonna do a little wiggle of white paint between the blue and the black. Why? Because I wanted to. All right, here we go. So I got my small paintbrush. I have blue, two kinds, because one wasn't quite the right color. I should almost do this blue in would it be terrible if I wanted to totally bling him up? <laughs> I totally went off. Okay, where's my paper towel? He's got a little blue in his beard. That's okay. That's okay, people, because that gray will cover it up. Or I just make his hand a little bit bigger. Stuff happens when you're coming up with a, um, like your template. First time you're painting it, stuff happens. I love teaching the kids because when they're first coming up with their designs, if someone's been painting with me for a while, we teach them how to take, you know, five or six magazine photos and how to come up with an original design. And the day the kid has that aha moment of my finished design deviated from my original moment, when they had that moment, I love it so much because that is such a teachable moment because yes, of course it did. And all the masters, it did too. Why? Well, because, you know, maybe when they started the design, they were blue and then they started feeling great. Or maybe they had too much wine with lunch and, or they grabbed the wrong color. <coughs> You know, we don't talk about the wine, really. It's between me and you. It was a drinking lunch. <laughs> oh, well. You guys understand me. Okay, here we go. Ta -da! So I obviously cannot do his little hands just yet. And they do look like blobs until we outline them. It's just, it's just the way it goes, guys. But I'm going to fatten this star up a little bit, which... the it means the shape's going to be a little wonky, but I'm okay with that. Hmm. Because the outline is definitely going to help. Ta-da. And you could go over that star as many times as you wanted, quite frankly. I'm going to force my hands a little bit because I feel like I'm, I'm really ready for my hands despite the fact that the blue is not dry yet. And I'm just using the same skin tone for the nose and the hands. And people say all the time, what color skin should I give my gnome? I would say whatever color your family has. Do you have Mochalicious? Do you have paper white like mine? Just so, so white. Whatever color you want. How do I get the color? Well, they do now, our companies do now sell um, ethnic colored paint, but you can make it yourself with uh, raw sienna, sorry, burnt sienna, um, some white, some black, and just make the color tea or coffee or cocoa that you wanted. Make a little bit bigger hand. Getting a little bigger, guys. And like I said, it's not gonna look like much right now until I put the outline on. Just the way of things. So let's go ahead and get that glitter for his his little puff ball. I think I'm seeing glitter in my future. Or you could do the star, star spangled star. That would be awesome. I don't know that I have a great blue. Actually, I don't know if I have a great red. Let's look. Let's look really quick. Everything's right here in my traveling. Oh, I know I have a great red. <coughs> Excuse me. Yes, I got my red. And I just use all purpose glue. It's clear. Where did I put it? It is clear. Really, really, it is. There it is. 
and I pre-mix it in a little container instead of sprinkling. When we do events, people don't like the glitter all over their place. And it's just really hard to vacuum up. Ta-da! Okay, here we go. Of course, we're plugged up, folks. There we go. You don't need very much. at all. I'm just going to mix a little water helps though too. A couple drops of water, just a couple, just a couple. There you go. Mixing that together. And you know what? Oh my God, it's so beautiful. A couple coats and this thing is a rock star. I can see his baton and his little tiny skirt and he's ready for the parade, guys. I can see it. I, don't, I never wanna stop when I'm painting with glitter and some of you might absolutely hate it. You guys see, I guess, can you guys see that? How glittery, wait till it dries. You're gonna be so impressed. So if you don't love all the wrinkles, give them another coat. I think it looks pretty good. So I'm not gonna do too much. But I already put my white stripes on, so I don't wanna I don't wanna hang out in that area too long. I have my hot glue gun here. Let me go ahead and put my feet on and then I'll outline and we'll talk about what we have. All I did was bring out, normally I use my Gorilla Glue, but remember I outlined first so I know he fits the space. I want to make sure he's lined up with the bottom. I don't want to find out later that I did not line him up. So I kind of like run my hand, make sure he's flat. There's a little bit of time to play with this glue. If you buy the kit from us, we include some glue because we don't know if you have a glue gun. And that does float a bit, so you have to be a little bit more patient because it'll look like it's perfect. You'll go get a cup of tea or fill your wine and you'll come back and it slid a bit. So you do have a little bit more play on those ones. I mean, let's make sure he stands. <laughs> He's the stander. He's standing. He's super cute. Wait till let's finish his. Let's go ahead and finish his hands. For some reason, it's the light. It looks like his nose is white, but it's actually pretty brown. There you go. It's the light from here. Okay, take your tiny paintbrush, tinier the better, and then water down paint. And so once you have your paint watered down, go ahead and here's the trick. Clean your paintbrush off. And then go back in and I'm just going to outline in black my star, my hands. Did make my hands a little bit bigger because I know when I go around them, they shrink. Hello, fella. Maybe some silver. Maybe we should put some silver in here. Pretty simple. Just putting it all together. I'm gonna hmm, let's I'm gonna grab silver. I have silver paint somewhere. Hello, hello, silver paint, there it is. It's a little bit lighter silver. I'm going to use it instead of white inside the, I got too much water. This particular paintbrush, it is from Michaels. I normally love this brand, but this paintbrush itself, water gets into the ferrule, that's the metal part, and doesn't wanna come out until you're painting and then it drips. 
Okay, I'm gonna clean my paintbrush, go on white, and I'm gonna put a half or a frown at the top so it helps those feet pop a bit. And then one of the last things I wanna do is I'm gonna take some watered down black and I'm gonna very carefully, this is super tedious, go on the outside of my um, stars with black. It helps give them a really nice outline. If you feel like your hands are shaking or you're gonna blow this step, don't do it at all. See it? That one went, that was more of a Disney star there, guys. <laughs> These ones are a little smaller and it's okay. This star shape can be implied <laughs> completely fine. It's, it's uh, artwork, it's not perfect. Art is never perfect. I am definitely laying in my powder puff. And I'm gonna turn mine so I can change my point of view really quick. Just another season for gnomes, for the people that love the gnomes. I have like four more stars and then we're all done. This cute little design. And then all I have to do is decide if I want to add more bling. Hey, Mr. John's here and it was his birthday yesterday. Just decide if I want some more bling on top of our powder puff and uh, yeah, yeah, we do. <laughs> gotta have it. Gotta have it, people. Make sure your sides are painted. Mine are not completely, but I think this is a, a pretty good example of why you'd want to. He's super cute. So our 4th of July gnome on our double-sided uh, gnome. So I love him. I think he's great. I think he's adorable. Um, tell me what you think. Give us a thumbs up or a heart if you really like it. <coughs> um, if you have any questions, let us know. If you want to order them from our website, use the um, coupon code uh, SHIP GNOME, capital letters, to get free shipping on this for the month of May. Thanks, guys. See you soon.